hi everyone welcome back to tbl kutor channel thank you for liking my videos thank you for also subscribing to my channel i see you and i appreciate you i need more subscriptions guys please subscribe to my channel and in today's video we are going to be learning how to draft this simple top on the screen with a combined sleeve when drafting it and also with a fitted waistband it is very simple to draft just come along with me in the video without further ado let's get into the video using a pattern paper for drafting then i also need my pattern hand fabric scissors for cutting then some markers for drafting my pattern i will need these pins to hold down my fabric when i want to cut then some rulers just to rule some guidelines then the ham o curve i'm not really sure about that anyway but i'm just holding on to it i'm going to need my pattern master and also i'm going to need my tape measurements and i wouldn't know if i would need that armhole tape measurement but i'm just holding on to it i'm not going to be needing the eraser anyway then i'll be needing a fabric this piece of fabric is what i'm going to use with my bias to tape the neck and uh, arm or i don't have a black one that is why i'm going to be using this brown one for it then i'll be needing my basic bodies which is very important without this you can draft or manipulate whatever style you want to draft or manipulate i'll be needing these basic bodies and this my front and back basic body or you can just make do with whatever you have it's not compulsory to have all this the very first thing i'm going to do is ruling border lines because i'll be needing them later on in the video just to guide me in whatever i want to do you will see it as we go ahead so what i'm going to be doing next is to place my front basic bodies on the pattern paper correctly using the border lines as my guidelines and i'm going to be tracing it i meant to place something on the pattern paper but i just don't feel like placing anything on it so i'm going to use my hand to hold it down then i'm going to trace my neck and the shoulders in, in fact the whole of the basic bodies my front basic bodies that is what i'm going to be tracing on the pattern paper then i'll go ahead to mark my waist my bust and the chest line then also trace out the that i don't know if i will be needing that that but i just want to do that in case i need it in the video later on then i will also do the same for the back bodies but i want us to note for the back body at the waist that is the side back you see it's shapey because of how the shape of our back is but i don't need two pieces of my back bodies i just need a piece of it so i wouldn't be tracing that shape i'll be using the borderline i ruled earlier as my back my side back shape for this bodies i don't know if we get that but you will see what i'm saying then i also trace out the necessary parts that i will be needing the next thing to do is just to connect the marks i made earlier together chest line bust line waist line then to mark out my that with my marker also i'm going i'm also going to do this for the back bodies too so this is what i have after tracing the front bodies and the back bodies that i will be using for this lesson and the next thing i'm going to be doing is because i want a top not a top that will get to the hip i just wanted to get to my trouser waist so from my waist i'm going to be coming down by 16 cm if you are using inches you can come down by six inches or just your preferred length that you want to come down but for me i'm going to be coming down by 16 cm at both the side and center front this is what i'm going to be marking because i want it to be on my trouser waist and what i'm doing for the front definitely i'll be doing it for the back also i'm going to be marking those places out i don't need them anymore because i want the length of my top to rest on my trouser waist 
the next thing i'm going to be doing is to work on the shoulder to give you that style and that particular shoulder and sleeve combination that i want it to have and the borderline is going to serve as my guideline in constructing or in manipulating what i want is going to guide me not to go above the line and to give me the accurate measurement that i want and what we will be doing is to place our ruler exactly at the neck point that is the tip of our shoulder at the neck point and mark 30 cm that is what i want the length of what i want you can do 40 you can do 50 cm but i want 30 cm 30 cm is 12 in inches i'm going to be doing it for both the front and the back bodies at the same time so that it can give me the measurements that i want from that 30 cm you'll be coming down by 5 cm or 2 inches 5 cm or 2 inches you connect them together with a straight line i'm going to be placing the curve ruler on the neck point that is the neck point towards the length of the sleeve i just marked in order to connect both together so what i'm marking now is your shoulder line combined with your sleeve line and you are going to do exactly the same thing for the front and make sure they're accurate then i'm going to be working on my round sleeve measurement my round sleeve is 36 cm divided by 2 cm to give me 18 cm but in inches it is 14 inches divided by 2 it will give you 7 inches if you want the wider round sleeve you can add to your total round sleeve and if you want one that is fitted you can just mark your exact round sleeve measurement divided by 2 or you divide you reduce the round sleeve measurement divided by two a little for it to be fitted but i just want my exact sleeve measurements the next thing i'm going to be doing is to mark my band and i'm going to be doing 7 cm for my band which is also three in inches i want a band that is a little bit bigger i don't want a small one that is why i'm doing 7 cm in inches it is almost three inches i want the top to be loose on my body and for my pants to hold it firm around my waist and that was why i did not eliminate the darts on both bodies because i'll be using it it will give me more space for the top to be loose i'm going to be coming out at that angle by 5 cm it is two in inches i'll do that for both side front and side back of the pattern then i'm going to go ahead to use my pattern master to connect from the 5 cm to the armhole using my palm then the next thing i'm going to be doing is to work on the shoulder and the neck depth i don't want a basic neck i want a cano neck so i'll be going up on the shoulder from the shoulder point towards the neck point by 6 cm 6 cm which is almost two inches i'm going to do the same thing for my back bodies then from the depth for the depth of my neck i'll be going up by 2 cm you can do an inch or more or less if you are using inches i'm going to be going up by 2 cm for the front neck the front neck the depth then for the back i think i want to maintain the normal basic depth for the back or just slightly go a little bit lower from the the next thing i'm going to be doing is just to confirm the length of the shoulder for the back is 24 cm i'm going to be me i'm going to measure the front to see if it matches together and for the front is 25 cm so i'm going to be marking reducing the 25 cm by 1 cm then i'm going to reconnect my neck depth to the new shoulder measurements afterwards what i'll be doing is just to go around the whole bodies by adding my seam allowance to the front the back the sleeve the shoulder the side and the, the 
so i'm going to use another pattern in drafting the band i'm not going to use that one because it is shapey at the side then the next thing i'm going to do is use my pattern scissors to cut out my pattern please note use your pattern scissors not your fabric scissors because if you use your fabric scissors it's going to make your scissors get blunt quickly then the next thing i'm going to do is to draft my band the width of my band in total is 83 cm which is 32 or 33 inches more or less then the length is 7 cm which is 3 inches i'm going to be drafting the complete width of my band because i want double the width of the band so that i can have excess of the band at the end of it then i'll cut it out after cutting out the pattern this is what the result is and i just like the way it's looking very nice i'm so happy i could achieve this but i will be getting my final result after cutting and sewing the fabric and trying it on i'm going to go ahead to place the front bodies on my fabric you will fold your fabric it has to be on fold because you'll be cutting a whole piece of the front bodies of the front parts I'm going to do the same thing for the back bodies make sure i'm trying to use my pins to hold down the fabric so that it won't shift just for me to get the accurate pattern that i did then i'm going to go ahead to also use my scissors to cut it out I like to be folding my fabric into two because i want double of my band then i'm going in at the band just to make the band a little bit shapey i went in by 4 cm then i connected to the other edge just to make the edge of the band a little shapey i'm separating the fabric from the pattern because we are ready to sew so i'll be placing the front bodies and the back bodies together right side of the front and the right side of the back facing each other i'm going to go ahead to secure both shoulders with my pins gradually then after securing it with my pins i'll take it to my sewing machine to sew on a straight line i'm done with the sewing and i also went ahead to secure the edge of the fabric with my weaving machine then the next thing that i'll be doing now is to use my bias for the neck i'm going to use it to tape around my neck because there is no lining with the top so i'm using my bias to tape around the neck i'm going to do this by pinning then go around the neck and after sewing the first one i will turn it to the other side and sew the outer part just to sew, secure the neck and i'm also going to use it for the ham hole from one edge of the ham hole through the shoulder to the next edge of the ham hole this is what i will do then i will come back to show you I am done with this also and you can see how the neck is looking like is neat i like it then i went ahead to just freestyle at the front i wanted to have the button at the back but i just made it at the front just to give it that unique look and the next thing i'm going to be sewing now is to hold both sides of my fabric both sides of the top the front side and the back side together i'll be using my pins to secure them together first before going to the sewing machine to sew them together i'm done sewing and i also went ahead to secure the edge with my weaving machine then i'll be working on the band and the first thing i'm going to be doing is to notch the middle just for me to get it when i'm about fixing it to the top then i'll go ahead to remove it from the pattern this is where i notched i'm going to turn it to the other side that is the right side facing each other and i'll be using my pin to hold down exactly where i notched it's just for me to note it then i'm going to also go around with my pins to hold the fabric together from where i notched i'm going to fold it from that place that is the middle of my band i'm going to fold it into two then i will go ahead to measure the width of my waist half of it i'm going to measure and i'm going to be using 
the marker to mark it it's a black marker that is why i'm using it and it's mark at the other side of the fabric not the right side of the fabric i'll go ahead to hold this place also with my paint because when i'm sewing i want that place to be obvious i don't want to sew beyond where these two paints are to the middle point where i notched so i'm going to sew from the edge to where the pin is I'm going to sew both sides of the band or both edge of the band to where the pin is and I'll be coming back to show you. So I've gone ahead to sew both edges of the band. I've gone ahead to make some sewing then I've, I stopped where the pin. I did not sew that side through the, to the other side of the place where I marked earlier because this is the part I will be attaching to my top then from where I notched on the band I'm attaching it to one side of the top I'm attaching where I notched because I want the excess of the band to be at a particular side either the right or the left side when I'm wearing it I just went ahead to attach the band where I notched to my fabric then I took each round to where the sewing stopped on the band if you are seeing it very well you can see i took each round to where the sewing stopped at one side then this is what i'm going to do for the other side to where the sewing stopped on the band this is where i'm going to stop at the other side of the top so i'm done attaching the band to the top and the next thing I'll, i'm going to be doing is if you notice you can see there are excesses at the edge of the top so i'll be going in with my pins to secure it i'm going to tuck it in into the band it's going to give me some kind of fullness around the edge of the top the band is going to be like a belt that is going to hold it firm around my waist that is the effect i created and that is exactly what i'm hoping to get after sewing it together i'm done pinning and this is how it is looking i love the way it's looking already without sewing i will be going to my sewing machine to sew it around and to also secure the edge with my weaving machine this is how it's looking i love the finished work uh, though i've not even fitted it yet i just love the way it's looking i loved that that rope came out just exactly the way i want it the last thing to do now is to fix the button at the appropriate place then i'm going to be putting it on to show you i love the top i love it i love it i love the way it came out perfectly on my body it came out just like the way i imagined the top is going to sit on my body but if you don't want a fitted sleeve you can add more to your sleeve width so that it will give more ease i love the waistband the tucked in the excess before the band i loved it and i love the fact that there's excess for me to tie by the side at the waist thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe like and share for definitely i'm going to be releasing more videos god bless you bye bye